my happy place. Like this is my happy place right here. The smell is like moldy, but just like overwhelmingly meaty. It's like really makes you hungry. We are here in Portland, Oregon, about to see our good friend Eli Cairo at Olympia Provisions. We think Olympia makes some of the best charcuterie in the country. We've known Eli for almost 10 years. We're excited to finally see where he makes all of his stuff. We know how we make sausage. We're making 40 pound batches of something. And we're just supplying just our butcher shop. You're obviously a lot bigger than that. You guys are butchers and own a butcher counter. I've never sold a steak in my life. I'm a sausage maker and a charcuterie maker, and that was kind of my whole philosophy, was to make value-added meat, not to run a full fresh meat program like you do. So what are we gonna do today? I think we should make pecorino parsley sausage. We're gonna also show you around the entire plant, kind of give you guys, hopefully, the uh, feel of what we really do, what makes it special. Can we suit up? Yeah, let's do this. All right. And this is the spice room. Super duper unique to us. You know, we get all the spices weighed out, real spices, ground 15 minutes before it goes into the batter so you can actually oh, wow. taste everything. We try to keep them within about a half an hour to an hour from when they're grind mixed into the meat. Quick test for the butchers, what's that? Pork fat, idiot! Ah! So simple. <laughs> I like to keep all emulsifications under 40 degrees if possible. Which is why we're in a very cold room right now. And it's the fat is frozen, and we're going to be using ice. Take that first one, dump her in there. Good job, Brent. I knew you could do it. Slowly add it to the meat. That is a, a bio via, so that is a rosemary extract and distilled vinegar. This allows it to give it a, a better shelf life. I help you. Then the ice to go in there. Shut it. Uh, you let this run to a minute 50. Look at us making sausage wow. together as friends. Do it! Do it! Yeah. Parsley. Beautiful. Oh, well, that's good. But that smell good though. This is so much easier than what we do. Our mixer is fine. It's a great mixer. Yeah. We're not comparing uh, mixers yeah. today. We're here yeah. making sausage. It yeah. mixes. It's like Toys R Us, yeah. but it's nice. But, okay. Come on. You guys smell an Emmy coming out of this one or? Oh man, yeah. <laughs> oh. oh. Wouldn't you say that's the ticket right there? And starting to form onto itself. You're getting like individual piles. Got it. Oh, actually, we got to try it, make sure we're happy with it. Thanks, Eli. Oh, it's really great. Wow. Imagine if that was warmed or cooked. Definitely tastes a difference in the fresh garlic. Yeah. You get the parsley, you get the cheese. Yeah, I mean, what does dry parsley- What do you want? What does dry parsley taste like? Who knows? Exactly. Like, nothing. Nothing. Yeah. nothing. Nothing. It's terrible. So why would you do that? You're lying if you're using dried parsley. You're actually using fresh garlic, yeah. not just a bunch of garlic powder. Because a lot of other people, you know, they pre-buy this package shit. There's no consistency. And that's what it tastes like. That's it. All right. <clears throat> We're going to go stuff it. <laughs> oh, nailed it. How often do you not nail it? So often. <laughs> casing? Yeah, seen it. Familiar? Yep. Cool. Very familiar. You're also doing a natural casing, which a lot of people don't do. No, this would be synthetic, and you could bang that out in no time. That's not how you're supposed to do it right there. It's supposed to be inside of a casing. You want it inside of the case. Inside. See, I knew we would learn something. You ready to break? Look at that. Woo, woo. And it's pretty good. How do I stop it now? Hit it again. Whoa, this is awesome. This is so cool. Ours doesn't do any of these things. First off, it would these take us like 20 seconds to do that and I did it in three. And then these are like perfectly like. Perfectly stuffed. Yeah. No air. The biggest part is there's a vacuum in there. So if your emulsion isn't good and you have like a clump of air inside of your sausage, it's gonna get pulled out in there. It pulls all the oxygen out of the sausage so you get a perfect bind every time. I wanna try, I wanna try. All right. This is, why, why is, good thing you're good looking. <laughs> hey Brent, you, how do I stop it? 
I have no idea why this went so poorly for me. I have just, just, to, just to point out, three masters of their craft. <laughs> yeah. This machine runs 100 a minute, and usually when you're really humming, it doesn't stop. You know, on a, yesterday, if you'd have been in here, both machines were just running fresh sausages for 10 hours. In this plant, we operate around 60 people. How big is this place? 40,000. This is 40,000? Yeah. It's making a sausage. La 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 la. That was good. We just rolled in the pecorino and parsley sausage, and uh, it's going to take about an hour and a half to cook. Time it. We sell all of our sausage raw. Yeah. This is cooked. We make raw sausages mainly because we would need a lot more, a lot more space, more equipment. We would need this. This has like humidity control so that may, they make sure like it stays like really nice and plump. Okay, so we did it, we stuffed them. We're steaming, that'll take an hour. Okay. <clears throat> now we can uh, okay. show you around everything else. Incubator. We'll see, there's very little in here, but this is gonna smell super special right now. Whoa! Yeah. That's intense, man. Yeah, that's not what you want to be smelling. It's literally rotting me. This process takes me three days. In most salami factories, they do this in about three hours. You, you know, you add a super live active culture, you put it in a smokehouse, a ton of sugar, you ferment it super duper quick, and you get that lactic tang pH drop real, real quick. So what's the advantage of you taking three days rather than three hours? Yeah, so I can drop my pH really, really slow. And in doing that, it allows the, the spices that you took so much effort and the pork flavor to actually marry into the flavor as opposed to just being like pork, salt, spices. For me, it, uh, a true salami should only have like very little tang. You should never taste that it's fermented. It yeah. should just be like pork, salt, spices, and then of course the mold, which we'll go talk about right now. Yeah. So after it's fermented, the salami comes in here. We talked about grinding it lightly so the moisture can come out to the outside. What you're having here is salt bringing meat and yeast to the outside. That's attracting our mold, our bloom. In my cookbook, I gave away every one of my recipes. And the reason why I feel comfortable about doing that is you have to have this environment with the slow fermentation, the real meat to actually replicate my product. And it's a pain in your ass. All you want to do when you're on this scale is to control every variable. It's all about control. And you're actually like deliberately just being like stepping away. You're just kind of at the whim of the molds and figuring it out. Wanted to actually just see if we could, uh, just for the shit of it, get like us playing hide and seek in here. Totally, of course. Close your eyes, third count to 30. Go. Two, three, four. Oh, it. let's go. <laughs> Found me! <laughs> Salami camouflage. Oh my god! I can't believe you walked right past me. Swear to god you didn't see me. <laughs> this will be the blast chiller. Cool down everything real, real quick. Boys, you're gonna need your uh, summer sausage. Oh man. This is so cool. Small things, huh? So this is the final QC check for everything. This is like, a, this is what I want for Christmas. This yeah, is roll stock machine. Distributing. Line, line, eh? Oh God! Sausage there. Salami's here. I've never been happier. Yeah. Those are done. Ready for a hot sausage? Oh, do you smell that? Oh. They're gonna be cheesy. Thank you, so Eli. They're gonna be, they're gonna be real, well, you guys made them. Good work, Cheers, everybody. We made a sausage. You did a good job. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That bind is really good. The cheese is great. Yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. Parsley nice and fresh, black pepper and garlic. I think you might have a career in this. I might think about it. Mm -hmm. I, might, I might look into it. That's it. We're done, we're here in the staff room, we made it. Thank you for all the goodies. I think you fed us an entire meal along the way, just uh, trying sausages. I'm so jealous. Eli, 
really, really appreciate it. Really good it. work, gentlemen. Look at you. We're gonna eat the salami shaped like a football, but if you wanna learn about football, head on over to SB Nation here. You believe that? The execution of this play needs another look. Gerard Rabb faked the screen. <laughs>